Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to talk to you about Sublime Text 3. Now, Sublime Text 3 isn't necessarily a huge visual jump ahead of Sublime Text 2, and nearly most of the changes, if you're not a, if you're just a daily user of Sublime Text 2, you might not even notice. But I found it to be a great overall experience, and if you love Sublime Text 2, you might as well be on the latest and greatest, which is Sublime Text 3. Now, if you purchase Sublime Text 2, since it's in beta, I believe you can still use your, well, at the time of recording this video, you could still use your uh, serial code from Sublime Text 2 to get access to the beta. Now, he did state, the developer, that is, did state that you would have to repurchase Sublime Text 3, and it looks like it's running about $70 right now. Um, of course, it's still in beta, though, so you can test it out and try it right now as you'd like. Um, so the address is sublimetext.com slash three. Now I'm on OS X, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the latest. Now if you're like me and you like sort of, um, you know, experimental stuff, I'm, you know, running Chrome Canary, I'm running Firefox Nightlies, that sort of stuff. There's also the dev builds here that you can get access to. And now it says that dev builds are uh, currently available for only registered users. So if you have an account, um, uh, for Sublime Text, you purchased it, then you can use these dev builds and they're experimental, they may be buggy, they may be all sorts of stuff. So use at your own risk, but they could include the latest and greatest features before it hits uh, the standard version. So I have the standard version uh, downloaded right now as a disk image. I'm just going to throw it onto my applications folder, like so. And you'll notice uh, not a whole lot has changed with Sublime Text, including the icon. So if we go to my applications, uh, we can see that it's no longer called Sublime Text 2 or Sublime Text 3. They're referring to it as just Sublime Text. I'm going to throw this in my doc, um, and I'll probably get rid of Sublime Text 2 in any future videos and just do the remainder on Sublime Text 3, the differences aren't really great. In fact, when we open up Sublime Text, um, which is Sublime Text 3, you'll notice that it's going to look the exact same as you're used to uh, Sublime Text 2 looking like. In fact, now if I go ahead and I'm just going to throw up any old project directory on there, just uh, it's going to look exactly like what stock magenta look like. We have Monokai, we have this base theme, um, we have our normal file browser. In fact, all of the keyboard shortcuts you're familiar with are going to work just fine. Now, what we don't have is we don't have package manager or package control. So you're going to have to download and install that again using instructions from their site. And you can even use the same video that we used to install it on Sublime Text 2. The process is the same. You're just going to want to make sure you grab the latest version. So this is Sublime Text 3. Play around with it. You'll notice some, some nice little things, improvements here and there. But ultimately, it's just a newer version of your favorite text editor. And uh, it's great to be on the latest versions. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please let us uh, know on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Uh, we're all over the place. There's also a Level Up Tuts forum that you can talk to us on. And please subscribe. We love subscribers. We love people who just you know, get a lot of use out of our videos. So let us know what you want to see and we'll continue to produce great content. So thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.